Hello everybody, Bocho's brother is back with a new edition for you. Inside of here we have something. Let's see what it is. It's come from Italy. Remember Italy. Um, it could be my third installment of 5E books. What could it be here? What could it be? We got some tricky opening to deal with. Let's see. You can just use your teeth. Use your teeth because I think it has something to do with vampires or werewolves. Alright. Take care of the package. The packaging is fantastic. I don't think we're going to see any damage on the book. Like can happen. Sometimes you order a book, they come with the corners squished. Lopsided. This is perfect. Look at that. Night fell. Children of the Moon. A source book dedicated to lycanthropy to experience the curse of the beast in 5th edition. Check that out. We like werewolves. We like werewolves in uh, Grim Hollow. They have a transformation. We like werewolves in uh, Critical Role. Chetney is one of the best werewolves I've seen. Um, so this book could be just the right trick to add a whole werewolf feeling. Full Moon, the werewolf beast lord, werewolves there. Look, they just emerge here from the snow. I love the art from these guys. Let's take a look at the back here. And just uh, do a quick, take a gander here. Nightfell, Children of the Moon features a multitude of new contents which can be used in any 5th edition setting. It provides a fresh, broader, and deeper perspective on lycanthropy, equipping you with all the tools you need to incorporate the werewolves, werebeasts into your campaigns. This source book is dedicated for Nightfell, veteran fans as well as for new ones. Within the pages of this volume, you will have once again the chance to wander the world of Lurmen while experiencing the lycanthropy through a brand new and original point of view. If you're new to the game, be ready to explore nocturnal setting, unveiling its moonlit and darker secrets. All right. So we might not get to see the whole book here, but this is just to get an idea. Look at that. Not a black page background, but a full art piece here to begin with. This transformation into the werewolf lycanthropy here. And we'll just flip through some of the content and see what we have. That's the moon mistress, I think. One of the goddesses from the world. You see the size of the town there. Table of Contents. Uh, they have all these phases of the moon in Nightfell, which uh, impact how powerful monsters are, uh, depending on if it's a full moon or there's no moon at all. Let's take a look. We got an introduction, how to use this book. Pretty standard stuff. The legends and the folklore. And look at these guys. They just have amazing art on absolutely every page. This sort of moon creature. They have expanded races in uh, Nightfell. So where the, you might think that's a tiefling, it could be something else. Some kind of goat man. Look at that. The nocturnal fish. I'm sharing responsibilities. This looks like some sort of an angelic creature. Chapter 1. Nature of the Beast. That's right, man. Hellfire Club. Nature of the Beast. This is heavy stuff going on here. Heavy Metal, Chapter 1, Nature of the Beast. And as always with Nightfell, the art just speaks for itself. An echo of the full moon with some kind of poetry writing here. I thought the writing was quite good. They had a translator or their speakers of English and Italian. So you can get the book in Italian or English. Worshippers of the Beast. All this kind of stuff. The cults, moon. 
just do a little flip through here. Here we have a uh, some sort of a night huntress with the crossbow. Very Van Helsing, very uh, night fell, very grimdark we call it. Uh, chapter two is night adventures and lycanthropy. So look at that, the werebear. Sometimes you may be turning on fellow party members. Sometimes you may end up attacking uh, the people in the tavern. Because as a vampire or werewolf, sometimes you might not be able to control your dark urges. There's a lycanthropy spirituality, so cleric classes. Um, dealing with the lycanthropes here. What are these monsters? Variants and aesthetics of werebeasts. So not only could you become a werewolf, you could become a were-rat. That could be some sort of a were-owlbear. What the heck? A were-boar. Lots of stuff. Were-tigers. Orcs. So a lot more possibilities for animals. The barbarian here. Gnashing teeth. There's a lot to look at here. All right. My little lad is telling me we got to speed it up. We got to pick it up because there's a bus to catch. But Bocho, Bocho's brother has been away for a while. That's amazing. The Eclipse. I don't know if they'll allow that on YouTube. I don't know. Werebear. Were tigers. Tireless blood. Werewolves. Wow. I can't wait to get into this. And I couldn't open it until uh, I made a video. So we kind of are just rushing this last minute before a bus needs to be caught uh, into town. Look at that! Flipping through. We're picking up the pace here. Um, you're going to get some new spells probably, new monsters, new artifacts of the beast. Even the art on the weapons and the items are really impressive. They have a feature where these uh, magic items could be corrupting you as well. The Chapter 3 Adventures to Guide in Uriman. Yeah, I find that uh, sometimes there's the tropes of the werewolf and the vampire, and after a few sessions you can run out of ideas. So it's really nice they've gone fully in depth to give you a lot of options here, a lot of ideas on what you can do with this whole werewolf theme. So, um, I'm just going to kind of fast forward a little bit here. Lunar Owl, Lunar Shadow... New monsters. Um, the monsters they came up with in their bestiary were fantastic. Just flipping to random pages now, we have a faded encounter. There might be a, a campaign or an adventure in the book as well. And just fast forwarding here, there's kind of the world of Ewerman, the adventure, probably for DMs, that section. And we'll just jump straight to the back. Krampus. I love the Krampus in this game. I think they've added some of the monsters in here as well. New versions of the Krampus or the Ozena and other monsters. So, you guys, that was what you have here is Nightfell Children of the Moon. Uh, the third installment of this whole series, Nightfell Bestiary and Nightfell. So, until next time, may the moon shine upon your adventures. Farewell!